Welcome everybody to this video. In this video, we're gonna go over the Ruida controller. Uh, we're gonna do a start to finish project by getting a file together in Lightburn, loading it to a USB stick, and then finishing it off in uh, the Ruida controller with our laser cutter. Uh, our first video went over kind of the controls and functions and what they do. So if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, check out the link down below in the description, uh, and then you can start that way. And then this video will kind of guide you through the first project uh, just using the Ruida controller. So uh, let's go ahead, let's get started. So for this file, I have a keychain of a logo of mine. Um, I already have the engraving setting set and then the line setting set too. You can use any file you want. Um, but the basic principle is you want to save RD file to a USB thumb drive. Uh, and then once you have it saved as an RD file, we're gonna take that thumb drive and load it up to our machine. So once it's on the USB stick, go ahead and take that USB stick and let's plug it into the side of your machine. Uh, it's going to be labeled U-Disk. You'll see that there's a USB plug-in port somewhere on your machine. So just locate that and plug it in, then go to your control panel. To access the files on your USB stick, uh, what you're going to want to do is hit the file button and then use that D-pad and scroll down to where it says U-Disk. We'll hit enter there and we're going to read U-Disk. Once the U-Disk has been read, you can go ahead and select that file and click copy to memory by using the D-pad and selecting, then pressing enter. Now once it's copied to memory, you can go ahead and just select that um, from, from your options and then escape out of that menu. And you'll notice it's loaded up there on your left hand side and it gives you a little preview of the file that you have saved now to your memory. So uh, you're going to go ahead and select that by pressing enter and that'll load the file for you and get it ready uh, for engraving. So before you start, first thing you want to do is use that D-pad to jog your laser head in place. And once it's in place, we're going to hit that frame button to make sure it stays uh, where we want it to engrave. So once you press frame, you'll see it kind of go with the box around the area that it's going to engrave. Um, and you want to make sure you do that before you start any file, just to make sure it's going to work in that area. So once you have the frame already set, all you have to do is press the start button and it'll start with the first layer where it engraves and then follow with the cut line after that. So while your file's running, uh, if you look at your display on your Ruida, there's actually a couple things going on that are pretty cool. It does tell you the time elapsed per project as well as show a progress bar. And then you'll notice a cursor going back and forth and that's just where your laser head is. So it shows you uh, where along the design it's at at that current spot. So let's take a closer look here. It looks like we have a successful project launched through Ruida. Um, everything turned out okay. So let's move on to the next step. So that was the way to do it via USB. Uh, you can also just send it to your Ruida through your cable that comes included with your Omtech machine. Um, that's pretty easy to do too, but let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So this part's pretty simple. Uh, basically you have a USB connected from your computer to your laser and all you have to do is just click send rd file and then i'll ask you to name it um, go ahead and i just put keychain and then once you've named it just click send and then that'll send it to your rowita display once the file has been sent over you can access that file on your rowita by pressing the file button it'll be the most recent one the one at the top and it's labeled keychain so that's the one that i sent over it's the correct one and we'll press enter to select that file and you can go about starting that file the same way we did it the last time before. Um, you wanna frame it and then press start and you're good to go. So that wraps up our video. That is two ways to send a file down to your Rowita. First one is gonna be through a USB drive. That's a great one for offline communication or in case you have like a second machine and you only have one computer connected. Um, the second way is through a cable connected from your computer to your Ruida display. Both ones are very simple to do, but if you do have any questions, feel free to let us know down below in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any questions, let us know down below.